hi guys what's up and welcome back to my channel so we are currently on day four episode four of the big brother ninja level up reunion and without further ado let's dive right into the recap so the episode started with a throwback clip of adekunle and sheik's fight in the house when the show was the airing if you watched the show i'm sure you remember this fight because it was one of the biggest fights of the entire season so afterwards ebuka asked sheik why he always had that impression that adekunle was a fake person that he wasn't genuine and he said the reason for that was because a lot of the times when they were in the house that adequately would like focus on the fact that him shakes came from a comfortable background and he would say things like oh you your father is comfortable you have fleets of cars at your disposal but him his guys kicked him out of their house that he's homeless that those kind of talks just made him feel like adequately was acting for the camera and that he was a dodgy guy and ibuka asked the same question to adequately but he worded it a bit different he asked him how him and shakes they went from building a friendship they wanted to to being at loggerheads from the beginning to the end of the season and if adequately can remember at what point things went south between them and Adekule was like yeah that he thinks where things went wrong was when he first told Shex that Bella is a beautiful girl and I actually believe Adekunle because I watched the show from the beginning and that is how things played out I remember vividly Adekunle and Shex and I think some of the other guys in the house back then when they were in the house they were talking about the girls in the house and Adekunle said that Bella was one of the finest girls in their levels and at that time Shex was already moving to Bella so because of that statement that Adekunle made I think Shex thought that okay this guy also has eyes for bella so he started withdrawing back from whatever friendship or bromance that him and adekule they were doing so that was what adekule was trying to explain that he feels like it was when he made that statement that bella is a fine girl that that was where everything went south and shex interrupted him and was like no 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 i don't think it's fair for you to make this about bella don't bring her into this and bella too chimed in i was like yeah don't bring me into this this is why i said that this guy is a calculative guy he's trying to change the narrative now and i was like guys can you relax can you allow him finish talking like he was still explaining he was still trying to explain to ibuka and you guys just hijacked the conversation the explanation from him and then ibuka asked bella that okay what was it about adekunle that made you feel like he was not a genuine person was it the fact that he kept on talking about his struggles and his background right from the one or what was it and bella was like yes that in fact the house issue that he told them about that was what made them start to look at him funny that he told them that his friends they kicked him out of their house and he was homeless and when they asked him what he did that he said he did not do anything and that the thing sounded strange to them like it was weird that okay how can you do nothing and your friends will just wake up one morning and they'll just kick you out of the house and on that part i actually believe bella i actually support her rather because i don't think it makes any sense that somebody would just wake up in the morning and just kick you out of the house for no reason so she said that was the beginning of you know the end <laughs> that was when they started looking at um adequately funny and because they know that big brother now people come to the platform to sell this underdog script that they just felt like everything he was saying and doing it was just to play to the camera and just you know act a certain way shot just to buy votes in summary that was what she was trying to explain and then shex chimed in again i was saying that him when he was on the show everything he was saying and doing that that was his authentic self that he's a real person he was not for me and when he was explaining i was just laughing because i was like i was just like imagine the irony here you are telling somebody else that they are fake you don't believe them and in the same vein you're telling us that you're real everything that you're doing or everything that you're saying is real so why do you want us to believe you when you you cannot even give somebody else the benefit of the doubt i beg scratch that so he also brought up the um newsletter saga again i was like okay why did um and they only not reach out to them that's the housemates that felt like he was shading them that why did he not reach out to them when that whole newsletter saga happened and tell them that okay see i was not referring to you guys who don't take it the wrong way but he did not say anything he just kept mute and adequately actually apologized he said that yes looking back 
that he shouldn't have even done that newsletter at all or even if he did it he should have worded it differently that he's very sorry he apologized for that and i'm glad he apologized because to be very honest up till today i still believe that adequately <laughs> i still believe that he was really shading those housemates the ones that caught the street bullets i believe he was really shading them truthfully so i'm glad he apologized about that and their segment ended on a good note and checks was like yeah he has forgot he has forgiven him for the newsletter and that was where the conversation died and ibuka moved on to the next scene so in the next scene ibuka moved to rachel and was asking her that how did herself fina and chichi how did they go from being in his sisterhood to not speaking to each other anymore if you cast your minds back when the show was still airing these three people they formed like a sisterhood i think they called themselves a sisterhood or or witches edo witches I, I can't really remember the name i'm sorry if you remember please type it down in the comment section i think it was edo witches or edo sisters i can't remember but they had one name that they used to call themselves and that sisterhood it started after the night that bella and rachel they had that issue over food if you watch the season again like i always say you will remember the issue I'm, that i'm talking about i don't want to go into details and start explaining because this video will be too long but it was after that night that they started like getting close they formed that sisterhood because the three of them they were the three ladies that used to cook for the house at the time so they were united by what happened you know it was like them against bella and shakes so Ibuka was like, how did you guys go from being so close to not speaking again? Mainly Rachel and Chichi and then Fina and Chichi. And then um, Rachel, she said that they were never friends, to be very honest. That it was just that event that happened that night that made them come together and it made them say like they were close. But they only used to talk about random things that they were not close, they were no friends. And that when they left the house, she would call chichi or she would talk to chichi and chichi would ignore her and then ibuka asked chichi the same thing that is it true you guys were never friends she said yes that they were never friends that that's the truth and ibuka asked her if it is also true that it is because of what happened that night that made them form that sisterhood and she said no that it's because they were in a confined space and <laughs> rachel was laughing and i was also laughing because that is a lie anybody who watched the show would remember that it was after the issue happened between bella and rachel that was when they started forming that sisterhood between the three of them so i don't understand why chichi is lying and chichi was like it was not because of that that in fact she even felt bad after she watched the clip after big brother played the clip of what happened that night because then she now realized that it was actually rachel that pushed bella's hands and i don't even want to go into that sha but she just she said that they were no friends and it was not because of the reason that rachel gave and that she was not ignoring rachel that in fact when she and rachel last spoke rachel invited her for a sip and paint and she said okay she was going to attend and rachel was like no you did not say you were going to attend don't lie and teacher was trying to like remember what she said and rachel asked chomzi to confirm what she's saying because apparently they were together and chomzi was like yes you did not say you were going to come when rachel called you to invite you you were skeptical you were like mm, you're not sure that she chums she wanted to let chichi know but chichi had blocked her so there was no way that she would reach chichi so ebuka went to chichi and was asking chichi why did you block chomzi and chichi said chomzi body shamed her a lot i think when she came out of the house that was when she saw it that chomzi body shamed her a lot and she said a lot of horrible things about her but out of everything, the one that really got to her was Chomzi saying that she was using her late experience as a strategy on the show, that she was always playing the I am an orphan card, that that really offended her because she had never really badmouthed Chomzi before. And Chomzi was like, no, you badmouthed me to Bella. And Chichi said, oh, you, you've said more horrible things about me. You've said I'm using my late experience. You've said um, shit about my body. And Chomzi was like, yeah, you were really using your late experience. Me, I don't know about that. I can't, I can't comment on that to be very honest. And then they started going back and forth. And Chichi was like, oh, I trusted you. I told you confidential things. And Chomzi was like, how can you say you told me confidential things on a reality TV show? If you're telling me something private on a reality TV show, that means it is not really private. And Chichi was like, oh, it's you that I seen it as a reality TV show. Me, I saw it as, you know, living my real life with real emotions. And then Chomzi strikes the first blow and she said you 
that you're claiming you used you you put your real emotions where did it get you how is dg and then chichi retaliated and said okay at least i'm not like you that all the comedians they are passing around and tomzy was asking her to name names what comedians she's talking about chichi refused to name names rachel was getting irritated even ile baye they were getting irritated like okay why can't you name names because chumzi was really pushing her okay say the names of the people the comedians are talking about she refused to say the names so they were just going back and forth back and forth even ibuka even ibuka tried to like ask chichi that chichi what are the names of the comedians chichi refused to name names and they just ended their segment there so Ibuka moved to Fina and he asked her how the whole sisterhood started and how the thing fell apart. And Fina said the same thing that Rachel said, that it started um, after Bella and Rachel. They had that food fight that she's one of the people that cooks in the house. So she understands how it feels for you to cook and your food to just go to waste. So they bonded over that and how it fell apart. For starters, that when they merged, Bella always told her that Chichi used to nominate her a lot. And then she would confront Chichi and Chichi would tell her no nothing like that that she never nominated her but when she left the house she saw clips of um chichi like during level one um nomination time that she was that she saw clips of chichi always putting her up a lot of the times and she was very heartbroken because she really liked chichi like a younger sister and she always told chichi that chichi reminded her of her younger sister even though she and her younger sister they are not age mates <laughs> and it was from there i don't know like I don't know how things just went from zero to 100 from there immediately she made that statement she said um chichi is 33 years old she's older than everybody there on sets all the housemates that she's older than everybody there that chichi has two children she abandoned in bini one died chichi is married chichi was a stripper which everybody knows that chichi is this man she just went like crazy she went crazy on chichi she was saying a whole lot of things and i didn't understand where it was coming from because she was explaining calmly and it just went from zero to 100 real quick and while she was saying all those things chichi was responding but not, not even in a malicious way she was just being sarcastic giving a sarcastic response but final kept going on and on and on i can't even remember all the things that she said truthfully i'm just i'm just saying the ones that i remember right now because i can't remember all of them when they were having that back and forth i was just trying to like shut myself out of out of that zone because it was very painful to watch trust me it was it was painful and what was even more sad was the other housemates they were laughing again i don't even understand them like whenever two people are going at each other they'll just be laughing and this time it was even worse because imagine the things that somebody is saying about another person and you guys are just sitting there laughing what is funny i don't know maybe they'll tell us what's funny and if it's funny to you please also let me know in the comment section so they were just going back and forth i can't even say they were going back and forth because it was mainly fina attacking chichi chichi was responding to her but she was just being sarcastic like she was not giving her strong replies telling her like hurtful things the way fina was saying to her and then after they went for a while they stopped and fina kept explaining again that even when they left the house that everything was okay in the beginning and all of a sudden chichi started giving her attitude chichi stopped talking to her and because she already have that narrative in her head that the housemates they see her as raz so they don't want to associate with her outside that she did not bother asking chichi that oh what's the problem why did you stop talking to me that she just moved on so it will come like asked chichi oh why did you stop talking to her i think she was like she too she also saw clips of fina but mounting her to level two people that she did not allow them to get to know her chichi personally that she was just bad mounting her to everybody and then they started going back and forth again at each other like it was a mess it was a mess they could not even come to a common ground they kept going and going and going and going till the episode came to an end like that was literally how it ended i'm not even joking I mean this episode it was it was very painful to watch to be very honest it was very painful to watch i don't know like why fina like went off the wheels like that i have no idea because personally i feel like there was no need for her to go there there was no need for her to say all the things that she was saying to be very honest but yeah that was the episode so far episode four and um join me in the next episode if you have not subscribed please subscribe to my channel Turn on your post notifications so you get alerted whenever I post a new video. Please share, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!